Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Life's a Journey 365. My name is Don. This morning I'm coming to you from the deck of our beautiful Nevisa Ridge Ranch, which is where we live when we're not on the road. This summer we were planning on doing a six week trip into the United States, but COVID-19 has put an end to that plan. Because we were planning on being in states like Arizona and Utah during the summer, we thought it was a good idea for us to have a portable refrigerator freezer during our trip. That way we could keep lunches, water bottles, that kind of thing with us while we were out touring around and our RV was back at the campground. So today I'm really excited to bring you the unboxing of our new portable fridge freezer. <music> So this is the box that our new Chili Moose 75 liter 2.6 cubic foot portable fridge freezer has come in. We're going to open the box and find out what's inside. So as you can see, it comes really well packed in one inch styrofoam all the way around. It's easy to get into because the box just lifts off with the cooler sitting upright. And as we pull away the styrofoam, we'll have a look at the unit itself. So what we see is a hard plastic case. It almost has a metal feel to it. Really nice spring-loaded heavy-duty handles on it. And what I'll do is turn it around for the cameras here. Okay, so we got it turned around here now. And down on this side, we've got our plug-in panel and we've got a fuse. Over here, just a good handle. Down on the front here, we have our control panel, which looks quite simple. The one thing I really like about it is it has these metal catches. So you know you're getting a positive close when you are sealing up your unit. Opening it up now, the lid has check chains on it so that it can't be taken over all the way. And we've got a lined aluminum interior, a basket, it even has a light in it. And inside the basket is, looks like our power cords and our instruction book. And there's a little box here, I'm not quite sure what's in that, but we will find out when we open that. And Chili Moose even sent us some stickers that we can put on our vehicle or wherever we want to put those. So let's open this up and see what's inside. In the package we have a DC power cord, plugs into your standard vehicle cigarette lighter adapter. And we have an AC power cord. Uh, the AC power cord appears to be just your standard computer type end. And we have our instruction manual. Now, I'm assuming in this box is actually our power transformer converter. Yeah, there it is. Unpackage that. And we have the standard plug-in to go with the AC cord plugs in here. And then this plugs into our cooler. The components all look like they're decent quality. The construction of the cooler itself is really good. I'm really pleased with that. I think I said that 
this exterior was plastic, but I'm pretty sure now that I get feeling it, it's, it's definitely a metal outside skin on this thing. Rubber seal all the way around. Good solid plastic for the seal to adhere to. And then as I mentioned, it's aluminum lined on the inside with an interior light. The catches close really easily and really nicely, and it's good and solid. There's no way that's coming open accidentally. I'm really pleased with what I see about the construction here. The hinges on the back are plastic, but they're good quality thick. They're about three eighths of an inch or 10 millimeters thick of plastic with a probably four millimeter pin sticking through them your hinge pin and yeah I'm really pleased with what I see in the quality of this unit. I do want to say one thing to uh, Chili Moose who is the manufacturer and shipper. Ground transportation was supplied by Canpar and I was not very impressed with the service of the ground transportation. So there we have unboxed it and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to plug it in and see how it works. So now we're coming to you from inside the house. I've Cleaned the unit all up and got all the styrofoam little nubbies off of it. And uh, we're going to have a quick look at it. One thing I did notice while I was cleaning it, and I'll be talking to uh, Chili Moose about this, is this one corner, this little foot pad that you can see here is broken. If you look, it's, it comes away from the unit. Um, I'll give them a call. It looks like there's just a couple of screws that hold it in. You can see this one is nice and solid. The two on the back are really nice and solid. So I'll give them a call and I will touch base with them. And I'm sure they can just probably send me out a replacement foot pad and I can get that swapped out real easy. Either way, I don't think it's gonna be a problem. I could probably, probably pull it off there and super glue it and put it back on. Now we look at the control panel here. Control panel is very simple. Looks like there's just a power switch. There's a switch here for the on off of the light. Um, I'm guessing it doesn't turn on when you open the lid unless you push the button. So, and then you got a up and down button. I would assume that's for temperature control. I haven't read the manual yet. And then you got battery protection and compressor speed. So I'll have to double check the manual to see what that's all about. And we have an LCD display. Uh, I haven't plugged the power in just yet. So, We'll have a look and see what that all does when we plug it in. I am going to do a little bit of a test here with it. I'm going to fire it up and see what happens, how quickly it gets cold. I brought in my temperature probes from the uh, RV. The white one usually goes in the freezer and the black one, which I'm not sure if you can actually see. Yeah, there you can see it just came out of the fridge in the RV and we're up to 12 degrees here in the house. So what I'll do is I'll leave this one sitting outside and I'll put the remote sensor on the inside once we get it fired up. And then we will see how quickly it comes down to a decent temperature. And we'll see how it fluctuates based on the outside air temperature. Now it's supposed to hold temperature. Uh, some of the cheaper ones that you buy, what they do is they will only bring the temperature down to say 10 degrees Celsius or maybe 20 degrees Fahrenheit below what the ambient temperature is. But this unit is supposed to be a full fledged fridge freezer and it should be whatever temperature we set. Uh, I haven't gone through the manual yet as I mentioned and I think if I remember when I was reading about it uh, before I ordered it, uh, it will go down to about minus 18 degrees Celsius when it's in freezer mode. So. We're going to do a test and we will see what happens. Stand by. So this DC cord, the 12 volt adapter, appears to be about, oh, I'm guessing eight, maybe nine feet. So 2.4, 2.8 meters, somewhere in there. So that'll be nice and long for when we need to plug it in in the vehicle. The AC cord. So I think I mentioned before is pretty much just a standard computer type plug-in and uh, oh 1.2 meters four feet or thereabouts and then the power pack transformer 
just has a probably 18 inch, uh, what's that, 45 centimeter or thereabouts cord on it. So we're gonna get this unit plugged in and we will see what happens with the temperature on that. Okay, so I've got power now. Let me just get it plugged in here. You can see on this side, we have a 20 amp fuse and then we have our AC, DC, sorry, our DC input. And of course our transformer pack here will put out DC. It says DC 12 slash 24 volts. So I'm guessing it can take either, uh, either voltage input. The output on the adapter is, not sure if you can see that or not, 13.5 volts, 8.8 .8 amps. So we'll plug it in. And the plug fits in there quite nice. Now there's also a USB port on here, which I'm guessing is gonna be real good for if we have to charge devices. All right, we come around to the front panel here. You'll see that it has powered itself on as soon as I plugged it in. So it is currently set for 20 degrees Celsius. And just, maybe I have to just hold that power down. Yeah, power button just hold down to shut off. And again, just hold it to turn it on. And what I want to do is reduce the temperature. I don't think I want to go negative temperatures right now. So I'm going to bring it down to about four degrees Celsius. See, it's flashing there now. Now that tells me that's what we're setting for. 20 tells me that that is what the internal temperature is right now. now let's just see what happens if we turn on the light switch. You see, we get an indication that the light is on. So let's just have a look here. So we open it up. Yeah, you can see the light is definitely on in there right now. And hit that switch one more time. You see the light goes out. Okay, so let's let this run for a while. It's currently 845. The display on the unit says that it's 20 degrees inside. It is 16 inside there, but I think the temp sensor is still trying to recover because it was in the freezer out in the RV, so it should stabilize. So yeah, 845 now. Let's see how long it takes us to get down to our set temperature. Okay guys, so here we are, we're back. Uh, it's 915. And as you can see from my two temperature displays here, this one shows two degrees Celsius. The temperature on the chili mousse is actually showing minus two. Now our set point was supposed to be four degrees. So I'm guessing what it did is it's done a deep chill. It will recover back to four degrees as it is programmed to do. So yeah, a little bit of discrepancy between what this temp gauge shows and what the actual temp gauge on the display shows. I'm not sure which one is 100% accurate. I thought this one was actually fairly accurate from the use that I've had of, of it in the uh, RV, but you know, I'm not gonna be overly concerned about a, a difference of four degrees Celsius, uh, as long as the, uh, the chili mousse does the job and so far, 30 minutes to cool from ambient room temperature of 20 degrees Celsius to a minus two or to plus two, depending on which gauge you look at. I'm pretty happy with that. We open it up and yeah, you can feel it's really cold. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to test how long it takes to go from its display temperature of minus two all the way down to the lowest temperature we can get which according to the manual, I think is minus 20 Celsius. So let's crank that down. Minus 18 is as low as the display will actually go. So let's see how long it takes us to get there. So it is now 920. 
So we will see what time it takes to get all the way down to minus 18. Okay guys, so here we are, we're back. As you can see, the display on the cooler shows that it's at minus 19. Display on a thermometer shows minus 15. And it is now just a few minutes after 10. So that only took 20 minutes to get from four degrees down to minus 19. So I'm very impressed with the way that this thing chills. So far, I'd have to say, Chili Moose, you've done a fine job. Check back in a little while for our next video, which will be a review of our first use. Thanks for watching.